Hi, everybody. Uh, let's see if my internet's going to behave today. I feel like I always say something at the beginning like, oh, this isn't gonna work, or my internet, or something. Let's not start off negative, right? How are you guys? Okay, I see me in my feed, so that must mean that we are on. Um, let me, hi, Kara. Okay, I see the number going up. Hello, hello, everybody. I'm just gonna share this over to my regular page. Um, hi, Tammy. I see you guys popping on. Um, one thing yesterday we had trouble with um, being able to see comments. So hopefully I don't have that problem today because um, we're gonna talk today about the Color Refresh. Nope. Color revamp, it's not a refresh, it's a revamp because it's lots of colors. Um, and I have a feeling you guys are gonna have questions and there's probably gonna be some things that I forget to tell you because um, there is so much to tell you. Um, okay, oh, now I'm seeing you all. Gina, Susan, Pam, great. I see all of you here, hello, hello. Um, so um, I'm sure that you've heard at this point that we are having a color revamp. And I put this out on my blog yesterday. Um, I spent some time making a um, graphic because I realized that there was no real um, clear communication over on the Stampin' Up! side about what colors we're leaving. Because if you look at the retired list it shows all the stamp pads retiring so that's very confusing um so i i my um friend here in the neighborhood she texted me and i thought you know this is something that we kind of need to clarify so i came up with the the graphic if you want to save it for reference that will help you um it's over on my blog i've posted it here on facebook and stuff but it um we have a lot of colors leaving we haven't had a color shake up um, for I think five years and not one this big for a very long time. So we have 13 colors leaving from our core color families and 16 coming, which is very exciting. Um, now we have the in colors, which rotate. Um, we get five new in colors every year and they last two years. So every year we have five leave and five new ones and then we have 10 all together. It's kind of confusing. But this, what I wanna to talk to you about is our main core colors that stay in the catalog year after year. Um, so I have a lot of stuff to show you. I'm gonna switch the camera around in a second. Um, I actually have some ink pads to show you um, because not only are we having a color revamp, we're having a stamp case redesign, which is really, um, I'm really actually very excited about. Um, so I wanna show you the difference in those. But before we do that, I owe you guys a prize. Um, last Friday I was not live because I was in Fort Worth. Um, but the week before I had a giveaway for the Stamparatus right here. And our winner, you ready? Sharon Verity. Sharon, I'm gonna email you today to get your mailing address so that you can get your new Stamparatus. Yay, it's so exciting. Okay, so I have to kind of rearrange a few things here, um, which is always awkward. So just hold on, please. And I will tell you a funny story as I'm doing this. I have you guys clamped down on um, this thing right here. See this? And I have a new phone, which I've told you guys about also. Um, and I clamped the like the volume button or something, where which is the button you're supposed to hit for five times if you're in an emergency. And suddenly this alarm was going off on my phone and it was crazy. I've never heard it do that. And luckily I was able to stop it. Oh, I wanted you to see this. I was able to stop it. Um, Hopefully the police don't show up today. The UPS man has already come today, so he won't come, but maybe the police will come to, to do a welfare check. I don't know. Um, here is my light box. We got these um, at On Stage. They're not in the catalog. They're just a fun gift. Um, I, I have looked at these for several years. Heidi Swap makes these. You can get them like at Michael's and um, Hobby Lobby. And I even asked for it for Christmas one year and didn't get it. And I just never um, brought myself to... Y'all, I hear sirens. Surely they're not coming. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Um, 
Okay, ignoring. Um, that's really like kind of making me panic a little bit. No, okay. Anyway, so those of you who are asking, this is not in the catalog, but you can get them at your craft store. Um, they won't have the Stampin' Up! logo, but they're still cute. Okay, so let's see, where do I start? I feel like we need to start with a retired list because the retired list is what leads to this color um, revamp. And hopefully you've seen the links. You can go directly to my store and see everything in picture form. That way you can pick and choose like, oh, I really wanted to get that or, you know, that doesn't matter to me. I don't, you know, I don't like that, whatever. But if you want to be really organized like me, you're gonna print these um, Excel sheets out and they are organized by page number. And uh, this one is for the Occasions catalog because remember our Occasions catalog is retiring as well at the end of May. And then this big one, which is many, many pages, is from the annual catalog. So what I do um, when I get the retired list is I sit down in front of the TV and I just start going page by page and I write like a big R next to what's retiring. Um, and that way visually I can kind of go through here and see what I have, what, um, what I wanted to get, what I wanted to um, use. That way I know how to make my orders over the next two months. Everything that is on the retired list is while supplies last except the stamp, I mean, the stamp sets. They're guaranteed through May 25th. So um, if there were framelits that you wanted or ribbon that you wanted or paper that you wanted, you need to do it quickly um, because sometimes those things run out. Not every time, but sometimes things that are really popular sell out. I just checked the inventory status report and the Suttles, nope, the Regals box set of reinkers are gone, sold out. So it happens quickly. So don't hesitate on those things that you want. I also wanted to point out that as you go through this list, there will be things here that'll say, um, label me pretty, clear, dot, 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 asterisk, asterisk, asterisk. That doesn't, what that means is that the bundle price is leaving. The stamp set and punch are gonna be in the new catalog, but you can't get them at the bundle price in the new catalog. So the bundles, those, this is a really good time to take advantage of those too because you save 10% when you bundle. So if there are bundles that you want, make sure that you get those because even though they'll be in the new catalog, you won't be able to save 10%. So go through your catalog, mark the big R's and see um, you know, what you want, what you need before it's gone forever. Um, please, please ignore. You, my, this is my desk calendar. You can uh, my desk catalog. You can see how brutal I have been on it. Um, so when you get to page one eighty four and one eighty five, that's when we get to the colors. And these are the two color in color families. This whole family is retiring, saying goodbye, except for one of them, which I'll tell you about in a second. This one is going to be for another year, and then we're going to get five new ones. Now these are our core colors that are that stay with us all the time until we have a refresh or a revamp. And um, that's this year. So you'll see um, that the paper, the, the re-inker, all of that's gonna retire. Um, one thing you need to think about, if you already have the Elegant Eggplant stamp pad, you need to get the re-inker, the classic ink refill, because this is going to eventually dry out. And if you wanna use it for years to come, you need to have that, that um, that refill, um, because you can still, just because it's leaving our catalog doesn't mean you can't use it anymore. If you have it and you love it, you want to protect your investment and buy that refill and maybe even some matching uh, cardstock to go with it. So that's kind of what you need to think about as this, um, this retired list, last chance list, all this stuff starts happening this week and you start kind of thinking about your, your order and you're putting your orders in. Um, let's see, I don't know how far I want to go into this before I show you everything. Um, I'm afraid I'm going to forget to tell you about the basic black and the basic gray. You'll see them on the retired list and the basic black archival ink is retiring and it's not coming back. Um, we will not have a basic black 
ink in the Stampin' Up! cases. We will have Stays On, which is back. Stays On Black is great. And Memento Black. They've had formula issues um, with those archival inks, and they are, they're just, they're done with them. Um, so Basic Black will not come back as a Stampin' Up! Um, ink pad, but the basic gray will come back as a classic ink. So don't worry too much about that. Now, the, let's see, the the big exciting thing that everybody is a buzz about are our new stamp case design. Um, it's similar, but you can see it is not the same. Um, the backstory to the stamp pad case redesign is that um, Stampin' Up! pays for a mold to make the plastic. And apparently it's super expensive and the mold doesn't last forever. It has an expiration date on it. Um, so they decided they could either spend a whole lot of money to get the mold again or they could improve on some things that they've heard us talk about um, and get a new mold and that's what they did. So the size is comparable. It's narrower and it's more square. It um, has a bigger color swatch here so you can see. It still has the color sticker on the end. The big thing about the new ink pads is how they open. So it's like, I thought they um, gave us a great um, analogy. It's like a compact, like your powder, you're gonna open it just up. Like that you know these we have to push pull it and slide and um, for, for new people that's confusing um, when I'm, I'm sure those of you when you first got your ink pads you were like what in the world how do I open this I get lots of questions about that so now we open it like our powder our compact and then it slides in it's a much tighter fit. These kind of shake around, they're kind of loose, and these are not, they're very tight. And they did say they would loosen up a little bit as you use them, um, but they fit much tighter. Now, also, one of the bonuses are these stickers. On the bottom, we still have the sticker names in all the different colors, and so you'll peel this one off and put it here. Um, and then this blank one is perfect for inside. That way, when you're stamping, you have a lot of ink pads open, and you can't really tell the difference. You'll be able to look there and see. All right, so that's a new design. The other great thing, which I will, I guess I'll show you now, but um, I have all the new ink colors. I just got them from the UPS just about an hour ago and I wanna show you, but I'll show you at the end. So these stack really well. They've got these little buttons here that fit into the little holes right there and they just stack and they make a nice clean stack. So if you're somebody who likes to be nice and organized, these will definitely appeal to you. Now the, the ink pad itself, this part, is the same. It is that same foam that we've had. The reinker, let's say you decide to buy the new case of a color you already have, the ink refill over here will go into this one just fine. They have added some D, oh, what do they call it, D foamer into the refills. Um, cause you know, sometimes when you re-ink your pad, it gets kind of bubbly. Um, they've added some, something in there to make that not happen, but that's going to be the only difference in the new refills. Um, so your old refill will work on your new pad, um, except for that basic gray. You'll need to get a new refill if you get a new basic gray, because the basic gray archival refill will not be the same as the new basic gray. Okay. Let's see. I think I covered all that. Um, Christy, I see you're saying you love the, um, new stamp pads. Me too. Yes. And Mary, um, arthritis is an issue. And I do think that that's one of the things they take, took into consideration when, when, um, when designing these, because they were very difficult to open. All right. So now let's talk about, where's my cute graphic. Let's talk about the colors that are leaving. Cause that's always like an emotional thing for everybody. Um, I will say that I'm not too devastated over these. I could have called most of it, um, but let's let's talk about them. I'm just going to go through them one by one. Let's see, I think I'll show you the cardstock instead of the ink pads. So Tempting Turquoise is probably my favorite color on this whole list, but I knew it was coming because 
you can always tell when Stampin' Up! stops including a color in their DSPs and their embellishments that it's not a very popular color. And it has been years since we have had Tempting Turquoise in any of those. So I had a feeling it was coming. Um, when I first started, this was my, my favorite go-to color. But many have replaced it now, like Bermuda Bay and, and a new color you'll see in a second. Chocolate Chip. I saw some discussions about how could they? How could they? This was my favorite color too when I first started. But once Early Espresso came along, I did not touch chocolate chip. Well, I will tell you that I have not used chocolate chip in so long that when I went to design um, projects for the Truly Tailored bundle, I didn't even have a chocolate chip pad and I hadn't even realized it. I don't know where it went. I don't know what happened. I haven't used it in years. Um, but again, they haven't included it in any of those um, DSPs, so we really haven't had a need for it. Um, so <laughs> chocolate chip is a great brown. I will not argue with that, but I, it truly, to me, it just pales in comparison to early espresso. Um, okay, this one is rose red. I do like rose red, but I really don't use it that much. Melon Mambo is a much more fun choice and our in colors that we have right now, um, which I cannot even think of the names of. I, my brain is so full of information right now. But anyway, rose red, these are all, rose red is from the Regals. This one also, Artichoke. I do not think I have ever used Artichoke. I don't think I've ever used it one time. Um, it's a, it's a, <laughs> It's kind of a muted, I mean, the only time I could think would maybe be at Christmas, but even then we had some better greens. It was time for artichoke to go. Um, this one is Elegant Eggplant, which I've just kind of discovered in the last six months. I'm not a purple girl, um, so Elegant egg Eggplant has never been on my radar, um, but it's pretty. It is pretty, but we have some others coming that are, that are, I think, that have that beat. This is Wisteria Wonder, another one. I don't, I think the only time I've used this in the last year was with the Daisy Paper. This is, I think, in the Daisy Paper, but other than that, it's just kind of too muted for me. Island Indigo is one I think people would be very upset about. Um, I, it's not one of my favorite colors, but I hear a lot of people say it is their favorite color. It's a beautiful blue, but it's going. Pink Pirouette probably is my it's probably my number one saddest one to leave because it's a true pink. Um, it's it's light and fluffy and I love it and I will miss it. But again, you know, we, once we get started with the new colors, we like will totally forget these colors. If you ask me what were the colors that left last time, I couldn't even tell you because we always have such good colors that come. Marina Miss was one that surprised me. This is a really good blue, but it's going. And then Wild Wasabi is a good green, but we have several greens in this. Look, I don't know why I have this in here. This isn't supposed to be in here. Um, we See, like, I think that, what is that? Pear Pizzazz. I mean, we have a lot of greens that are similar, um, and we have some greens that are coming that are so amazing. So Wild Wasabi, <laughs> funny story, I pulled out my Wild Wasabi ink pad to use it recently because I have not used it in so long, and it was, like, hard as a rock. It had totally dried out. So that just goes to show, Stampin' Up! says they they base their color refreshes and revamps on sales. And the colors that are not selling are the colors that leave. So, you know, you can't, you can't, um, the numbers don't lie. Soft Sky. And Soft Sky is an interesting. I hear people say they love it. I do not love it. Um, it's too, I don't know, it's too muted for me. But I don't know, do you guys love Soft Sky? I have my, I can't see your comments. I need to move them so I can see them. Um, I don't know. It's a boring color to me. And then Tangerine Tango, which I laugh at because I said the other day, I hate Tangerine Tango. Nobody uses it. And then whoever I was with was like, that's my go-to orange. I use it every time. And I thought, well, see, that just goes to show that everybody has their own opinion. So, um, Tangerine Tango is gone. And, um, it's very close to Calypso Coral, you guys. When I pulled all this paper out, I actually accidentally pulled Calypso Coral at first. So it'll be fine. It'll be fine. It'll be fine because of all the amazing colors that are coming. So here are all my pads that I pulled. Here's what they look like. So you could see them. They'll go into my retired box. Luckily, I have learned to hang on to these things. Although things that retire usually never come back. I can't really even think of an example. In colors come back sometimes, but um, retired colors don't. Okay, so let me show you 
the new colors. Some of them, I believe six of them, are returning in colors, which are those families that rotate every two years, like Blackberry Bliss. Isn't it beautiful? It's hard to see in here. I don't know if you guys can see it. It's a dark purple, rich. I love it. This is a new color, Shaded Spruce. Um, it is like a green, like like a tree, like a, you know, like a good tree green. Um, this one, if you're an Outlander fan, you will love Highland Heather. I even told my husband about it. We had an Outlander color. And I am not a purple person, but I think that's a pretty, pretty nice purple. Now, this one is, is interesting. I think this will take the place of Marina Mist really well. Balmy Blue. And Balmy Blue reminds me of whatever that blue color that left last time that my friend Krista, if she's watching, she like was like it was devastating to her um this makes me think of that what was it bashful blue that time but balmy blue this is a good clean crisp blue and i think it would make a great sky um now mint macaron not my favorite not anywhere close to my favorite but you guys love it i hear people saying that it is like their favorite color of all time i don't know why i just never could get behind mint macaron but it's back. Maybe this time I can. And I will say that together with this soft sea foam, it's really pretty. Isn't that pretty? Those two together, soft sea foam. And I don't even know how to explain soft sea foam. It's like almost, <laughs> I said it's almost colorless. It's a very pale, pale, pale green. Um, it's going to be interesting though with that and with another color coming up in a second. I'll show you. Petal pink. It's a good um, peachy pink, I think. Um, here's another purple. Those of you who have talked about us needing a purple for years, you've got yourself some purples. I think there are four purples in this new color refresh. Revamp, revamp, not refresh. So gorgeous grape. I mean, that is like purple. Um, now here's this Coastal Cabana. You guys, I... I love this color, and I am so, so happy it's coming back. Um, this one, I think, really replaces Tempting Turquoise. It's beautiful. I mean, it's not really the same, but in my in my mind, that's what I think. But I was thinking that, you know, these three colors together might potentially, I don't know, well, maybe not. I don't know. Coastal Cabana. Everybody loves Coastal Cabana. Now, I love this color, and I think it's going to be awesome with Lemon Lime Twist. Granny apple green. It's like an electric green. Oh, yes. Bright. Here's Mango Melody. And you know, I was thinking it was more yellow, but just now I turned it over. I'm like, that's totally orange. It looks like a mango. It's interesting. I don't think we've ever had anything like that. Mango Melody. Look at it with purple. Oh, my gosh. Hello. Bright. Love it. Um... This is the guy that's coming back. So this is a color family that is retiring, but Flirty Flamingo is staying, and I am thrilled. I love Flirty Flamingo. Now here's um, an in color from a long time ago. I mean, I think this was from when I became a demonstrator, Poppy Parade. It's like a, well, I mean, it's like a poppy, like a, the flower poppy. It's just beautiful, very, very pretty. Um, now, here is one that everybody's excited about, and I seriously, this is an end color that's coming back, Mossy Meadow. I have zero recollection of this, and it just retired. <laughs> so you can see where my color preferences lie in the brights and not in the regals. So Mossy Meadow, if you're a fan, it's back. And I need to, I need to get on board with Mossy Meadow, I guess. Um, now, here is a neutral that I find very interesting, and I'll compare it to the other grays that we have. Gray is a hot color. Um, right now. So now we have three grays, basic gray, smoky slate, and gray granite. So I'll, I'll show you those compared. And here's a fun one. I ruined my sticker on this one so it doesn't have a name. Mary Merlot. If you like a wine, this will be your favorite color. Um, burgundy. And this is actually being considered a neutral. These two right here are in the neutrals. Interesting, right? Okay, so let me show you the family. So not only are we having new colors, we're having new color families, okay? So that's just a whole new thing to get your head wrapped around. So real red has been a brights, right? No longer. Regals, here are the regals. Real red, cherry cobbler, 
Cajun Craze Pumpkin Pie. And you guys, hopefully I get these right. Please don't crucify me if I get them wrong. <laughs> we just got them this weekend. Crushed Curry. Look at that. That's pretty, isn't it? Gold Olive. Garden Green. Rich Razzleberry. Now let me come over here and bring in the ones hopefully I can remember that belong here. Shaded Spruce. So that would go like right there. And... Blackberry Bliss. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yep. So those are the Regals. Not not brights anymore. Regals. I feel like let me adjust this a little bit. Sorry. Okay, so those are the Regals. Now the brights are bright. And I can see why they changed some of them. Alright, so the old standbys. Melon Mambo, Daffodil Delight, Bermuda Bay, Pacific Point. Then we've got Gorgeous Grape, Granny Apple Green, Poppy Parade. Uh-oh, I'm gonna forget. I should have looked. Mm, is Party Flamingo? Oh man. All right, let's move these over here and then I'll be able to tell you because the soft subtles, or the not soft subtles, gosh, that's old. The subtles are Blushing Bride, so Saffron, Pear Pizzazz, Calypso Coral, and Pool Party, right? We know those colors. Then we have Sea Foam, Petal Pink, Balmy Blue. Okay, I'm going to have to cheat. I thought I knew them. You guys, it's so overwhelming. All right, let me cheat. All right, Subtles. Highland Heather goes here. Mm, that, no, yeah, that's right. Highland Heather. What about Flirty Flamingo? Where is it? Okay, so these two go up here. Right? Still, that doesn't feel right. Mint Macaron, of course. That's the 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So those are the subtles. Pretty, right? All right, now back to the brights. Flirty Flamingo, Coastal Cabana, Gorgeous Grape, Pacific Point, Bermuda Bay, Melon Mambo, Granny Apple Green, Poppy Parade, Daffodil Delight, and Mango Melody. There we go. Beautiful. That's my favorite. I don't know. The Regals may be my favorite now. I don't know. Brights have always been my favorite. But I think maybe now the Regals are going to be my favorite. I do like the Brights. Now the Neutrals is where the weird weirdness comes in, you guys. It's so weird to me. Your old standbys, right? Early Espresso, Soft Suede, Crumb Cake, Sahara Sand. And then the Grays, Basic Gray, Smoky Slate. Where's my basic black? I'm missing my, did I put it down? Mm. Oh no, right here. Oh, that's right, basic black isn't in the neutrals. Ah, okay, see, I told you it's weird. All right, so here's the new gray. Here are the three grays. Basic gray, smoky slate, gray granite. Yeah, they're good. Does it look? Mm. It's more, I don't know. It's, it's a totally different look. I like it. All right, now, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now we have three more neutrals. Do you guys think those are neutrals? They are. Um, apparently in fashion and home decor, these are considered neutrals. So Night of Navy, Mossy Meadow, and Mary Merlot. There are your new color families. Crazy. Now don't worry, if you're not a crazy stamping up person like me, you don't have to memorize all those. <laughs> but people want to know, so I'm showing you. Now we have, what do they call them? The basics. Whisper White, Berry Vanilla, and Basic Black. They're off by themselves because they're basics. Interesting, right? Love it. Okay, now, here are the in colors that are staying. Fresh Fig, Berry, berry Burst. That was the one I was trying to think of. That looked like Rose Red. Tranquil Tide, um, Lemon Lime Twist, and Powder Pink, right? So we've had those. Now here are the new ones, and I feel like I need to clean it off so you guys can get the full picture because it's so good. This is a nice little color um, swatch that they gave us at center stage. All right, introducing the next new in colors, my new favorite color of all time, lovely lipstick, which is red and then it's pink and then it's red again and then it's pink again, I can't decide. Lovely lipstick, grapefruit grove, Pineapple Punch. If you have kids and you know that song, Pineapple Pen, I was telling my husband last night, I'm afraid I'm not going to be able to say this 
color without saying pineapple pen because my kids say it constantly. Pineapple punch. Call me Clover. This I'm in love with because this looks like gumball green coming back. Um, and blueberry bushel. Isn't that a cute name? So there they are. And what do those what do those look like to you guys? Like a box of crayons, right? Like primary colors. This I love all of them. I've I've never said that about in colors before, but I love all of them. They're fantastic. Okay, so those are the in colors. Um, let me show you the stamp pads. I got these today with the UPS man came so I could show you how nicely they stack together. They do still fit in the color caddy. They're a little bit looser. They also fit in, if you have storage from salmon storage, they fit in there just fine. Um, if you don't have storage, it's fine because they stack. You can have stacks, nice and neat stacks. Now, um, I left one to label so I could show you. You peel off this sticker down here underneath and you put it, let's see if I can get it right right there and then you peel off this sticker right here uh -oh. and remember it opens like your powder your compact and this sticker goes right there so you know what you're stamping and they did say and I think this is important to remove the rest of this remove the rest of these stickers because they will um, kind of make your, your pads not stack as well. So there we have it. Isn't that nice? Look, I love it. Okay, so there's the color revamp. Then the low down on the new stamp pads. Here are the colors you need to focus on right now um, with the retired list. You need to decide, is there anything here you can't live without? And if you already have them, do you have the ink refill? Do you have cardstock? Do you have what you need to not be upset a year from now when you can't use it, okay? Um, and then here are the things that are coming, but we can't get these until June, okay? Um, you guys will actually be able to order these on May 1st, we have a really exciting pre-order coming. I think, I think that's right. I hope that's right. We have this this new um, pre-order coming. Um, I think I can show you the front of it. I don't even know if I have it over here. It's called the, well, maybe I'm not supposed to show it. I don't know, I don't wanna get in trouble, you guys. It's the Share What You Love Suite. And if you remember last year, um, Stampin' Up! released the Eastern Palace Suite, and it was stuff from the new catalog that everybody could order in May. And they're doing that again, and it's called the Love What You Do Suite, and it's coming in May, so I just thought I'd give you a little preview. I like it, this is an embellishment kit. I don't wanna spend a whole lot of time on it because it's really kind of um, obsolete for us right now, unless you wanna buy the starter kit. I do believe you can get this in the starter kit now. Um, it's going to come in bundles, different priced bundles. I'm going to have some great free make and takes to go with anybody who orders the bundle. I'm starting to, that's why I have it already. I rushed it here so I could start designing that for you. Um, but just know that that's coming. And in the brochure that we have that I'm not sure I'm allowed to show, it has these too. So you guys will be able to get your hands on it, hopefully. I hope I'm not giving out misinformation on that. Um... Oh, and here's the DSP stack. Just, just a little, just a little um, sneaky peek. I don't want to spend too much time on this because it really doesn't matter a whole lot to us right now. Um, but this is a giant DSP stack. Anyway, that's that. Be looking for that. It's coming. Um, did I say everything I needed to say? Oh, I just have to brag on myself a little bit. I went into my archives, if you will. And that, look what I found, the six colors that are returning. I have the pads and five of the reinkers. So see what happens? You gotta make sure you have the reinker. And I even have some of the cardstock. Um, look, I even tried to sell this at my last garage sale and nobody bought it and I'm so glad. <laughs> see, I must have really not liked it. Anyways, look, and this, this is Poppy Parade. It is so old that it's the old foam. I mean, it's the old pad, it's the linen pad. So it's been a long time. I wonder if it has a year on it. Um, 
It's been a really long time. What does it say? I think I need glasses because I can't read it. Anyway, that's that. All right. Um, so let me look. I don't think I was trying to keep an eye on you guys. Um, yes, yeah, some of the names are tongue twisters. Carol, yes, yeah, <laughs> for sure. Um, that pineapple punch, I, I'm telling you. Do any of you guys know what song I'm talking about? It's the most annoying YouTube video. Pineapple pen and apple pen, it's ridiculous. And so now every time I say pineapple punch, I'm going to have to stop and think. Um, so I have um, Facebook Friday ready to go. And um, I have three projects ready for you guys. Um, they're all featuring retiring things. I'm going to spend some time on retired products for the next few weeks because there are some really good things retiring. Um, if there is something specifically retiring that you would like to see, please let me know. And I would be happy to work on that. Um, if you want to put your order in today, you can still get your Facebook Friday freebies. Um, just look on my post today. The hostess code is there. Uh, minimum $30 order and I'll send you Friday's make and takes for free. All right, you guys. Thanks for joining me. I will be back Friday at 2 o'clock central with three new projects. And I'll have much more from on stage to show you. I just want to kind of keep... keep well, I wanted to keep this um, real basic about the colors so that you guys could, you know, kind of get what's going on with that retired list and why all the ink pads are retiring. Um, remember, if you only have a certain budget, don't feel like you have to buy all the new cases right away because there's not a whole lot of difference right now with the inking. You want to grab up all the things that are going to be gone. And later on, you can start investing in these new designs if, you'd like, if you like them. Um, so that's just, I don't know if I'm not, I'm, believe me, I'm no budget expert, but that's kind of what my thinking was. Um, don't feel pressured to um, buy the, the new design if you already have the color. Now, these new colors, I don't know when, I don't know when we're going to have access to those as demonstrators. Um, the 16 new colors, these. Hopefully next month. But you guys will have access to all of these June 1st. And I definitely am going to have an in-color club. Oh, and blends. I forgot to tell you there's a ton of new blends coming. So for those of you who loved the blends club that I just did, I'm going to do another round um, with all the new colors. And I'm going to try to figure out something um, to do with all of our new colors to bring them in too um, for some maybe some clubs or classes or something. Lots to come. My brain is full. I feel very overwhelmed. I couldn't go to sleep last night because I was thinking of so many things. Um, so many wonderful good things. I love this time of year with all the new. Okay, you guys. Thanks so much. Please let me know if you have questions. I'm happy to help with what I can help with. And I will see you guys on Friday. Bye.